Imagine you were looking straight down on the top of a drum or a cylinder that was rotate, rotating around uh, at an angular velocity of 10 radians per second. If the drum head has a radius of 0.7 meters, we could ask how fast, in a linear sense, is a point P traveling in a linear velocity. The speed of point P is going to be one of these choices. Can you imagine what that no the correct answer is going to be? We have to remember that there's always a connection between the linear equations of motion and the angular equations of motion. In this case, V is equal to R omega. That comes from the fact that S is equal to R theta, and now we're just talking about changes per time. So changes of x or changes of theta get substituted for S is equal to R theta. So all we need to do is actually multiply omega times the radius, and we will get the velocity V of the speed of this, that's the speed of this point P. And we get seven, so A is the correct response.